Power of One. Designed to inspire. The Power of One, um, the theme and the message is self-explanatory. The Power of One, one person can spark up something, one person can. You are important. If you make a decision to, to make a difference, it affects everybody around you. Listen up everybody, this is where I come from. Like See, this one was produced by um, Bolaji. And it was still basically in line with, you know, the first production as well. Listen up everybody, this is where I come from. It's Nigeria in Africa, it's a multilingual land. People them are working every day on the sun. Um, and that was Bless His Soul, OJB, Jezreel. I think I recorded my verse before everybody else. Sultan, Alec, to Kelly Hansen. Nice. When I go listen to For Instance again. Listen up, everybody. This is where I come from. It's Nigeria in Africa. It's anybody. We will take us. It's a song, Great Nation. It's a song about Nigeria. It's a song of hope, a song of belief. I mean, believing in the country where them. Where there's little or, or nothing to believe in, where things are going wrong, but we do believe that um, it's just to create an atmosphere where, against the odds, we still believe. When um, we hope against hope, that's what it's all about, and and I th and I think it, it fits perfectly into the core, the the main idea of what the Power of One movie is all about. I didn't feel some kind of way. That I have been at uh, crossroads over decisions of what the next line of action would be, you know, considering the fact that it might not be popular, you know, with the, you know, with the f people out there, you know, because sometimes when you want to seek validation from strangers, a bunch of strangers that don't know what you're all about or what your situation is, you know, you might just start off on the wrong note. So this song just, uh, fully sheds light on, you know, that uh, point in time when you don't know what to do, what do they perceive as right, what they perceive as wrong, so just do you at the end of the day, because most times people, um, uh, they pressurize you to do stuff, and then they stereotype you for that, um, so the best thing you can do is just um, be as free as the birds, as far as you know, you don't hurt anybody, just do what you can do. Working, working, working every day. The song is a prayer. That's all I can say. It's a prayer. It's, it's the song you wake up in the morning. You just when you want to, when you're having your bath, and you want to just be in tune with nature and your, you know, what's going on. Just in that prayer mood, you know. Not the song, but the It's just a prayer, basically. Protect my soul. The eyes that pray. It was a great and amazing feeling working with him. He was awesome, you know, the connection between us every time we work is awesome. He is awesome. He was it, it was spiritual, let me let me put it like that. Heliansom is such a very talented guy. Um, it was cool, I mean, smooth, smooth runnings, you know. Heliansom! <laughs> smooth runnings. Yeah, the song is cool, man. It came out nice, you know. When I heard that, I'm like, ah, this song. I remember this song, where well, you know, it remix, like you said. So it was nice. For instance, it's a classic. You know, first one was produced by OJV. The second one, Bolaji. And Bolaji is a guy that I've watched grow. Bolaji is bases, baddest bases. He's in the two faces band. Being on the song that Bology produced is also something I wanted to do to support him because you know you gotta support the people whoever you're trying to say oh this person I want this person to grow you gotta support them so Bology on the song he killed the beat and now I'm about to you know I spit a verse with my sound so time sound so time a bad writer people don't even know Great Stance again is like um, something worth striking off your bucket list and being um, you know wearing a broad smile because when the, when the first or, or the original song came out. There was no doubt in my mind that I wish I was on that track, you know. <laughs> um, everybody loved the track, it kind of just speaks of 
a fantasy that uh, might not happen but then again what would have been the repercussions or effect if it happened so that was what he was just saying in the whole music and a lot of people could um, fantasize and think about that as well you know so he got on the right side of everybody everybody loved the jam, the jam. so coming to 2019 it's just a shame that the jam still makes sense you know what do i what do i mean by that there's some bad leaders making it possible for good jams that speak about the ills to still be relevant at this time of the you know the century is just crazy so i found a bad writer i didn't need to, to even you know because to give us a great project where we see we know they run around the low um, so yeah, I was still shouting saying that Sultan, even though they said the whole one might keep quiet. But now Sultan right now, Sultan is a bad writer. For real. I give it to him. So that song is great. It's like me working, the super boy on the project, sound Sultan on the project. You know what I'm saying? So Bola G on the beat. Can we have some money? You know, to be associated is great. <laughs> Justin, I know what I've been going through. If anything happens to you, you know that I will not go back. To defend what um, 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 the expression behind Great Nation is that um, negativity has never helped anybody. It has never helped anyone. Um, we, we, we are people that speak truth. We speak the things that be not as though they were. We hope against hope. We are Nigerians. But people that crafted that word, it got better. Even when we don't see, we don't see any 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 atom of light at the end of any. We just we don't have to turn it at any any point. We just hope that at last last it got better. Somehow it's going to get better. So that is what I'm trying to put into the heart of basically Nigerians and anyone that gets under the sound of my voice in that song. And I'm saying we are all that we have. We are all that we have, and we'll defend this land. Um, we're different tribes and different people, but this place is home. Time to um, the song we will arise is about, um, you know, Nigerians standing up to their responsibility, taking their taking responsibility. I feel um, as a nation, one of our biggest issues is irresponsibility. So um, the way we respond to um, to the laws and the way we respond to challenges with infrastructure, you know how we abuse things and um, how we have a very poor maintenance culture, you know that kind of citizenship will hardly produce responsible leadership, you know. So that's why. In keeping with, you know, a uh, national anthem that says, I rise, O oh, compatriots, I, I had to do that song to say, We will indeed arise and take responsibility. Time to well, producing the song was a very simple task for me. Um, I, I just needed to do a song that really spoke to, uh, like I said earlier, that really spoke to um, us as citizens to stand up to our responsibility, that we are the change that we, that we are talking about, that we are expecting someone else to bring. So it, I, it was a simple process for me, you know, getting the music together, you know, and putting it out there. If we are put together, if we are put together, Nigerian music soundtracks can can do so much. They can sum up the movie. They can sum up the movie like um, you can see like Happy. You can see like the Frozen song, Let It Go, and all that. And it 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 takes the message. It it gives even when the movie is gone, the song sticks. It gives a different aspect, different view, a different side of what the movie is. I do think that um, original soundtrack songs, you know, in Nollywood movies can be hits like we have it in Hollywood. Um, it's something we are yet to embrace because um, most of our soundtracks are 
made up of songs that already exist. You know, we hardly have proper songwriting. I'm not talking about the old Nollywood type songwriting, but proper, proper songwriting that mirrors or, you know, that crafted after the story of the movie, you know, that works for particular scenes or for particular emotions. Nigerian music, movie soundtracks, of course, can become legitimate hits. There's nothing, there's no doubt in my mind. It just has to, has to be um, paid more attention and there has to be more, or has to be less revealing. <laughs> Less revealing, like it can live his, a life of its own outside of the movie. Yeah, we can have our own. My heart will go on. It's real. It's possible. We are getting there. We are becoming more enlightened. We are becoming more exposed, and there are people who are more daring now to to take those chances. And a lot of guys can do that. A lot of cats, are, you know, spontaneous as well. People can watch the movie and just sing, you know. And then again, an unreleased work that um, you know kind of explains the essence of the movie can also be used definitely yes because um the producers actually work hard and if they can keep up this with this space it's going to be a legitimate hit every time i get called upon to do something or to handle a project i always ask them hope it's not because you think this is the only thing i can do <laughs> People be like, oh, the social critic uh, commentary, let's get some sort of No, I do a lot of other things, other things. And I don't want uh, people to stereotype, in quote. And uh, so when I got this, I was like, hope it's not just because, I said, no, it's not just because this is, you know, working with my guy is uh, always something that's uh, close to fluid, you know, easy going. So I think to get the job done easy, is uh, part of the reasons why I was called upon. And um, having said that, I mean, everything else is a bonus, you know, is a plus. I love the fact that um, that's the territory I have to, you know, create or let my creative juice flow. It's always, it's always uh, better for me because I, I love reality. I can't lie. I love um, when you speak of something, you can look outside the window and see it. You know, or live that life, or people live that life. You know? So it's better for me. I think it breeds a lot of lifespan into the music itself. So yeah, when I was called upon, it was a challenge of some sort, uh, and also a you know right through my comfort zone. For instance, say them give this power to the young hands. Young hands we correct, no be wrong hands. Wrong hands we go carry money, go jam. Pray and insurance, give us some money for deliverance. Some lie, lie. <laughs> but you know, I mean, uh, if you rap now, you know, must be singing with voice. If you rap, if it's if it decides to use the talk, you know, so in all that aspect, yes, you can still succeed as, as an artist. You know, I mean, he's a brilliant actor, you know, and um. There's so many, so many, so many opportunities that comes with being a brilliant person in something that you do. We are as a people. The people that made the movie found it worthy that a good nation should, should would take such a prominent role in the movie and say the things that I could not say because I believe that music, what what music says in summation, what people could have said in years, what, what the message people could have. If someone was saying it, if someone was speaking it, it would take years for them to put into words everything that I try to say in the song. And that's how I, I know the power of music. And um, I think I, I'm proud, I'm proud. There's no pride in here, but I'm proud. <laughs> uh, how it feels to have a song as part of the soundtrack for Power of One. It feels really good. Um, feels really good and I must say I appreciate the um, producers, the executive producers as well of the movie, you know, um, it serves the purpose, you know, for why I did the song. So it really feels good. It feels good. It feels great to have a song that I'm a part of as a soundtrack, a power of war, like a movie with a purpose. It feels great. We need to explain 
what this is about. Even the song itself, explaining the song, you know, because when anytime, anytime musicians come and criticize the politicians, they say, just do yourself, just be what you always are, a musician. But there's a lie. You cannot be a musician without being a, a social commentator or a, a social critic, because it's your voice. You know, it's not just your image. It's your voice. Your voice has to speak words that are obtainable out there. With one heart, for one car. I've heard that a couple of times. When great nation should be the nation, then second standard of the national anthem should be compared to the national anthem. But that's not that's not what the idea is for me as a person and as an artist, as a musician. The idea is to have a song that transcends generations. That my children, children will come and they would listen and it would inspire them to believe that this place is home. And it feels good though. It feels good, but uh, that's not the ultimate for me. Like my my my, my biggest dream is people begin to live the song. People begin to be the song and live the song. That is what's going to give me my biggest fulfillment and satisfaction. I don't really act now, you know, I just I was just myself, so I didn't really have to act. <laughs> what can I say? Like the babu is waiting for the monkeys Oh my god, what can I say? But it's always, you know, it's always challenging, it's always refreshing to to play a role, you know, as somebody else. It's always exciting. Yeah, the cameo on the movie was um, us practicalizing, um, you know, recording the the soundtrack. But then again, we were we were never together when we sang the song. <laughs> Just I wanted to put it out there. Izu, Izu is a very great director. I've uh, seen his works from '76 to the to a whole lot more, and I feel, oh, you know, it's very easy going. I feel like the guy is a very, very good professional director, and um, being on set with him, and of course Innocent and my guy Ayangba, one of the Ayangba guys, and of course uh, Alexi Kubo, all of us were just jiving, making fun, and just laughing all the night through, and Ramsey Noah as well, we were just laughing all the night through. And the funny thing is, um, there was a freestyle, the old, uh, my, my rhymes I used to do of old. You know, we just wanted to end that scene on the high. So, you know, I just give them my, my oh, Mr. President, it's the people I represent. So they, you know, and when I was in the cinema watching this, everybody applauded that scene. I'm like, oh, wow, freestyle, you know, very good. Where the time to rebuild yes, it did, it did. I, I, I did see it twice. And I said, it, it said a lot. There were so, so many hidden messages in it, and I loved it. Like, for, like, like when you say those that, no, no. Even me, as, as close as I think I am to Innocent, you know, I never got the full picture until the movie, you know, painted to a certain level. It was crazy. It shouldn't happen to anybody. I mean, it's just um, amazing how people jump into conclusion. You know? People just say, hey, hey, do like this. Hey, they give like People just don't. You know, that's the easiest way out. Those those weak stories, those um, things that look like, oh, one plus one is two. So you always opt for that, but that is a big fat lie. Things happen behind the scenes that you don't even, you can never imagine. So it's not always like one plus one is two, you know? And having said that, I just feel everybody that, you know, kind of castigated in needs to turn down apology. <laughs> it's not easy, man. We know the, we, the you know this uh, situation we find ourselves, we know the country we live in. So when stuff like that happens, you should even check and be like, well, be more concerned than trying to bash the person. If someone believes an idea in their head and go with it, with times it gets it gains momentum, it goes, it goes and even even the onlookers by the side begins to if it's, a, if it's a big and a brilliant and powerful idea, you begin to run along with it. And that's what the power of one is. But it wasn't far from the truth, man. It wasn't, it was just the truth, just a little sugar and spice. <laughs> I'm to surpass our heroes. Yeah, I see Nigeria in a true trinity. Like Nigeria, the motherland, Nigeria, the leaders, Nigeria, the people. 
And the one that I see that has failed us the most is Nigeria, the people. Because I feel like those leaders are the minute fraction of what the entire population is. And if we, the people, continue segregating ourselves or using uni um, religion, using tribe, using several other beliefs and traits and whatever to divide ourselves, we will never move forward. The world has grown, the world has developed, the world has gone to so many levels and I think everybody is catching up with all that. In terms of talent, in terms of hard work, in terms of, you know, we have all that, you know, we just don't have structures. We don't have a proper structure to, to tap, to harness, to harvest, to capitalize on on the massive market that we have. Nigeria in the music industry has come a long way. It has come a long way in the sense that we're not where we used to be and we're not where we ought to be based on how, put, how much potential we have as Nigerians. With the little we have, see what we're doing. But we don't have a structure. Uh, yes, because of social media, you know, we have the ears of the world now. But there's still so much more to be done. Um, I, I, I want us to take it to another level where we no longer are producers, we are also a hub, you know. We also have platforms that people want to come from all over the world to participate in, to be a part of, you know, and we're getting there, all aspects of the Nigerian music industry. But each time we gather together to speak of that common enemy, they, they put some ingredients in our midst to divide us, tribe, religion, all those stuff are what Nigerians put on their mind while they are trying to fight for their daily bread. It doesn't make any sense to me if we are there, we are, we, are, we are worried together, but we cannot solve it together. So we need a structure that would govern us as a body. And then we can even, we, we can even begin then to talk about royalties, we need to talk about publishing. You will probably make more money and be more significant than we are right now. We're not where we used to be. Yes, people are seeing us, hearing us. But we're not, we're not reaping the fruit of our labor as much. Piracy is one of our biggest problems that needs to be curbed. You see, when that happens, like every other thing that we have in Nigeria, foreign companies are coming to tap into that and are capitalizing on it. Make no mistake, they're not doing anybody any favor. They're making huge, huge, huge amount of money. You know, it's just be like our football now. Huh? If they sign you for Chelsea, you know how much you will collect. But then they, they collect, then they make past that money compared to what they pay to the players. But at least the players are making decent living. You know, if they harness that thing for Nigeria as well, they will make dollar and they will pay well. You know, so it's the same thing with music. So these guys come, they are tapping into our market and they are growing their own companies and making their own levels. You know, and, uh, in, in doing all that, they are also using our own people to sell their own thing to us as well, you know. So um, I think our music is mature, is ripe. We have all manner of talent. We have all manner of entertainment in our music. We just need proper structure. It's my pleasure to bring to the stage one and only Legit! Finally, we don't see more youth. We're talking with the oppression. Whether they're the oppressors of this country. Too much. This is not everybody. This is where I come from. It's Nigeria in Africa. It's the you no, know, the news says whatever I want to say. It is what feeds the people. Nigerians have a lot to ask the authority. And they owe it to us to listen. Where do you get your ideologies for? Oh. Aside from the exchange rate, there's so many other issues that Nigerians want us to take action. Justin, I know what I've been going through. If anything happens to you, you know that I will down on my cat. Justin! How are you going there? I will be showing up at that protest of money. You know, this can be dangerous. If government get right to go, and the people get right to talk.